Okay, today we're going to be freezing the ocean with liquid nitrogen. I'm going to be pouring three liters of liquid nitrogen in the ocean to see if we can freeze it and actually get some ice formation. So I headed out to the beach today with a giant canister of liquid nitrogen to see if when I pour it in the ocean, if it actually freezes a big chunk of ice or what actually happens. So first I'll show you what happened when I poured the liquid nitrogen on the ocean, and then I'll show you another experiment at home that showed you what was actually going on underneath the water when the liquid nitrogen hit it. Okay, so now's your chance to leave your vote. What do you think will happen when I pour three liters of liquid nitrogen directly into the ocean water? Do you think it will just form an ice chunk immediately, it'll evaporate immediately and do nothing, what do you think is going to happen? Leave your comment below and let's check out and see what actually happens. Okay, first we're just going to test out what happens when we pour some liquid nitrogen on the wet sand here. Whoa, look at it go down the beach. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. That's a That's so cool. So this is the laden frost effect right now. So it's not evaporating that fast because it has a pocket of gas insulating it. What's interesting, you'll see on some of these close-ups of the beads in the wet sand on the water, you can see a tiny little white chunk form. And later on in the video, I'll tell you what that white chunk is. Okay, now let's go ahead and pour our entire container of liquid nitrogen into the ocean at once. Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, there it goes in the waves. Whoa! Most of it went this way. Okay, did we freeze the ocean or no? We did not freeze the ocean. I don't see any ice drops whatsoever. So what was interesting about that is all the liquid nitrogen stayed floating on top of the water because it was less dense and it created this insulating pocket above it so basically all of it was floating on top and rapidly evaporating and my wife was filming and all of it came over to her and it was even hitting her legs but it didn't do anything to her legs it's not like her legs froze off or anything because even her legs created that gaseous protective pocket of gas around it and so she didn't get her legs frozen off luckily <laughs> And you can see what I'm talking about in this next experiment here. I'll show you what it looks like to pour liquid nitrogen on water with a GoPro filming from below. So you can see what's actually going on and see if there's any mixture or ice forming at all. And you can see in this experiment here how there's some white forming. Now that white forming is actually solid CO2. So the liquid nitrogen is so cold that it's condensing the CO2 out of the air and out of the water itself to form this solid chunk of dry ice or CO2. And that's what that white chunk is there. So you can get two solids forming. You get solid CO2 forming and solid clear ice forming as well. And then you can see the beads of liquid nitrogen bouncing around the top of the liquid water. It's pretty neat to see. So luckily for people who use liquid nitrogen regularly, even though liquid nitrogen is a negative 196 degrees Celsius, if you get it on you, it doesn't tend to hurt you that bad. And that's because of this protective layer due to the Leyden frost effect. 
But the way you can easily get hurt by liquid nitrogen is, for example, if you have something like a metal spoon that you put in liquid nitrogen, and then you touch that spoon to your hand, then that can easily give you frostbite due to the low temperature and fast transfer of heat from your hand to the spoon, because you don't have that protective layer of gas there. The power of liquid nitrogen comes when you're able to surround whatever you're trying to cool down with the liquid nitrogen for a long time. But a fast touch of it, or when you pour it on something quickly, it tends to just beat up and fall off of it. The same thing happens when you put water on some really hot pan or something. It beads up just like the liquid nitrogen and forms this protective gaseous layer below it. Thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so that you can be notified of my latest videos out. And check out theactionlab.com to get your Action Lab subscription box where you can do experiments similar to the ones that you see me do on my channel here. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.